apart from it being absolutely roasting you, I'm here early, so I'm going to take a, a look around a bit of a scout and uh, maybe even have a pint of beer. This is the map of where I am. This green line here is the wall where these scorpions are found. Now, I've had a quick walk down there now and it seems to be pretty busy, although I've come here on a really bad day. It's in England, Denmark tonight, so there's two pubs on there and they're already full. <laughs> so I'm going to have some spectators. But yeah, I've got you in one piece just about. I'm having a real bad time with the gearbox in this van again. Um, so I'm here, but I might not make it home tomorrow. So the target species, what we're here for, is the European yellowtail scorpion. Now, um, it was first discovered here in the 1860s, but that's really difficult to uh, prove. Uh, we know we've got one um, uh, described by J.J. Walker, um, and that's in the Natural History Museum in London. So we can definitely put a, a time on that, that that's when they were here. So they've been here, you know, 150 years. Uh, should we go out and about and, uh, and see? Lock this bad boy up. Set up a, a bed in here just in case, and then uh, go from there. Eh? Uh, in fact, if you live anywhere near there, there are these kind of um, well non-native uh, British scorpions. Don't collect them. We want them to be here for another 150, 200 years at least. In it. These little scorpions have been found in a handful of other towns scattered all over southern England. But it's right here in Sheerness Docks that is from the largest colony of uh, Euscorpius flavicordus. And it's quite possible that their numbers could exceed 15,000 individuals. It's incredible. <laughs> scorpions will come out in the daytime, so I'm going to have a nap. Wait for it to get dark, and um, we'll see what happens. It's really noisy out there, man. I can't draw always colours. They stop now, but... <laughs> yeah, England are playing, isn't they? <laughs> The sun's going down. Now is the perfect time to look for some scorpions. <laughs> Here's a selection of photos I took while trying to set up the camera. Once you spot one, it was absolutely incredible. They were all over the place. You couldn't basically find one without finding a fair few more very close to each other. At this point in the night, it's quite early, before midnight, so all the scorpions are just edging out of their burrows, out of their, into their, out of their retreats. In this photo, you can see how high up they were in this wall. That's about. I'm standing on tiptoes and that's about 25 foot up in the air. Britting the whole of that wall. And there's my little pal. Behind the sign come back to him later. I'm finding it incredibly difficult to um, to catch them. Well I'm finding well I'm finding lots of them. I'm finding loads of them but they're incredibly difficult to film. Uh, reason being one it's uh, pitch dark. Two they literally fly in. They're very, very, very skittish. And, um, but there's one here, and I love 
how, if I have a quick look, how they've uh, started to use the man-made stuff that's all around the place. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. But what I'll try and do now, I'll get the camera really, really close, and we'll try and have, um, try and get that one on camera, at least get one. I've f found about, I found about between five and 10. I lost count at five, I lost count at five. Trust me, I can count past five. Okay guys, so I'm coming up to this high voltage sign. Uh, I just want to show you, look at that, see? It's using the inside of that sign as its retreat. And that's not the only one I've found now. Up, oh, gone right, and it's probably right up the top now. What we'll do is we'll come back in an hour or so because I've disturbed that one now. I'll pop back to the van and let's get some mealworms and see if it wants to eat. But yeah, the chicks. I found one as well and it's right by someone's house and uh, I'm not going to be able to film that properly. Uh, to be honest, that's not going to be able to film any. <laughs> And it wasn't just scorpions we were finding. Uh, this wall was full of Segestria florentina, so the green fang tunnel web spider. Uh, more in one place than I've ever seen anywhere. And we were really lucky to catch these two during courtship. So you'll see the large male on the left hand side and a smaller, younger female coming out of her, of her burrow. Absolutely brilliant. You'd expect to find these scorpions in warmer climates uh, like Southern Europe, Africa, and it's a bit of a mystery why they've taken to this particular isolated dockyard just outside London. It's probably due to the lighter annual rainfall and a warmer climate to uh, most of the other places in the UK. This was the morning after. Remember I told you about the house I didn't think I'd be able to go back to? Well, luckily I... well... I overslept and then when I went back to that house I managed to gain permission to be able to film on their wall. So thank you if you're watching this. These little scorpions are really quick for for what they are, you know. Um, and they were able to take a little sting. Oof. But they are uh, absolutely harmless to us and we should just leave them exactly where they are. And then, saying that, here's me releasing it back onto the wall before going home. <laughs>